Hey, it's Brigzar. Thank you for watching my videos. And in, in this video, I'm going to start something that I don't know if it's going to be necessarily new for what I'm doing, but it's going to be something that gets back to the way I really used to collect Lego before I started YouTube. And what I'm going to do is I got this partial set 10187, which is the VW Beetle. I got this at Brick Fair. Uh, this set is one of those that I had an opportunity to buy on a scratch and dent right before it got discontinued and I decided not to because I was trying to keep my collection smaller and now I kind of wish I'd got it. <laughs> so um, it's going to be expensive I think to finish it. I really don't know how much it's going to cost but what I'm going to do is kind of chronicle what I do uh, in order to piece together a set. Now this one would be a little less involved than some other big sets because I got a lot of the pieces right here. Uh, but one thing that a lot of us have done, I've seen some do it with like the green grocer. They kind of give you an update of them getting the part. So I'm actually going to take this, what is already assembled, completely apart. I'm going to clean it. It's got dust on it. And then I'm going to inventory the parts and see what's missing. Then I will look into my BrickLink store to see if I have any of the parts. Because if I have any of these, they are going to probably be new parts because it's these dark blues that are hard to find. And then after I do that, I'm going to look for my through my personal collection to see if I have any parts. Which is not likely because I don't have many dark blues. I may have some of these medium blues. Or I may look in sets that I never did part out. I have several hundred sets that I was going to part out into my BrickLink store and I never did it. So we'll do that. So maybe do a tutorial or a video of me cleaning it. I'm not going to do a video of me taking this thing apart. I'll just get my brick separator and put them all into a tub. Uh, it does have the sticker over tile, two tiles there. Instead of a two by four tile, I don't think those were made yet. It's two, two by two tiles. So I won't wash that sticker. And I probably won't wash the VW sticker that's on the front. It's right there. I don't think it shows up. I'll take the stickered parts out. And you can wash some sticker parts, but I don't want to take any chances. So I'll uh, take it apart. I'm going to wash it, inventory it, see what's missing, check my store, check my inventory, and then we'll get right on BrickLink and show me looking for the parts. So if you've ever wanted to uh, see what I do, uh, I know it may be boring. I'll try to make the videos short and to the point. But uh, and then you can see placing the order and then the haul when I receive the order. Possibly I might even find some parts on eBay, but generally uh, when I'm looking for specific parts, I don't necessarily find them on eBay or go looking at eBay. Oh, I also got the speedometer it's on there. So I've got several of the stickers. I am missing some of the, the big stickers, like the sticker that has the information about the set. I've already been looking at BrickLink for some of those. And the part out value for this set I'm going to go to BrickLink right now. I'm not going, to, you're not obviously not going to be seeing this, but um, I might actually show you this at some point. Uh, looking at the BrickLink price guide on this computer down here, I don't have it saved, so I got to go to the reference catalog and then go to the price guide, and then I'll just type in 10187 in the part out value section of that. It <laughs> that's new. The new part out value. Is over eight hundred and sixty-eight dollars. That's the current. That's the last six months sales average. Let's do used. That'll be more accurate. And that includes the instructions, which I don't have. Five hundred and ninety-two. So that's more reasonable. We're gonna go back over here and see what the instructions are selling for. So almost six hundred dollars uh, for this set. If you were to buy it used or part it together used at at the average price. So if we look at the. Um, the instruction. So there's a big sticker that goes with this. So I'm missing, let's see, I got one, two, three. So I'm only really missing one stick, the big sticker. I'm only missing the, the big sticker, so that'll, that'll be good. Now if I go to the set and I look at the instructions, see how many, there's only nine people selling instructions, and the cheapest is $85. <laughs> so that's what I figured. I, I was thinking they would be around 100 and I do like having the actual printed instructions. So, I might do a video showing me. I, when we do it, we'll show me putting all the stuff in my wanted list. And then looking at different sellers. And then kind of what 
items I might add. So that's a little project. I maybe do, maybe I'll do weekly updates um, with it. But see how long it takes me to put this together. This set was, oops, pieces already fall off of it. Maybe I, that part fell off. Um, how much do you think it'll take me to finish this? Um, you could do with the instructions or without. I do really want to get the instructions. With the amount that's here, there's a considerable amount of dark blue that would be up here. There are some of this light blue for the other door that's missing. So how much do you think I would be out just to get maybe the parts? And then, of course, there's the one sticker and the instructions. So tell me what you think and see if I come out better than the $600 part out value for this set. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be building this beetle by the parts. And that's something I used to do with a lot of older sets that I like to collect that I didn't have. Hope you enjoy this segment. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me if there's any questions that you might have through this process. Be sure to leave it in the comments. And as I do the updates, uh, let me know. And I'll try to incorporate those in the videos and give you a shout out if it's something I haven't thought of yet. So anyway, thank you. And we'll see you in the next one. Sprigzar. I forgot how to stop this thing.